Hey, how's it going, Sean Nightfire here? I just want to show off the capabilities of Sun Gold Power 10 kilowatt inverter. Uh, right now, I have 10 solar panels, 500 watts, 80 watts each, um, in two strings, but they're all going to PV input one. So uh, this has the ability to put uh, take up to 5.5 kilowatts of uh, PV per leg. Again, I'm only using one leg. So on the main screen here, and let me zoom in if I haven't to this one. So, yep, starting from page one, they got a little page on the top here. Um, not much information here other than the voltage of the PV. Um, again, I'm just using PV2. So, and then, sorry, going the wrong way. It's backwards to up and down, kind of annoying, but um, page two it shows amperage coming in. Now, max is out at 22 amps, so I'm kind of maxed out there. Um, I would get more volt or, uh, overall power if I had, instead of two split strings of five each, I did 110. The um, reason I don't want to do that in the winter, I might be over voltage. And also, I wanted to kind of have wider lobe. So I'm getting maxing out 22 amps from like 11 o'clock until 1 o'clock or maybe even later. Um, and since I have limited battery power, I kind of like it that way anyways. Uh, going down to the next page, again, I got to go up, even though I'm going down. That's showing what kind of PV I'm getting. So again, if I had higher voltage, I would be able to hit that 5.5, but I'm still getting 4.9 kilowatts, and I'm uh, really happy with that. Um, so that's that one. And then next page, um, well, this one would also show what kind of power you're using. Right now, I don't have anything hooked up to it. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Um, down page. This is how many kilowatt hours I've used total. So really I only use page three and page four uh, to get all the information I need. Uh, going down to page seven shows um, total kilowatts uh, combined, which uh, you can also get from page three because it just shows the first leg and the last leg. So that's about the extent of the test on um, the solar input. So let's do a test on what it can output. All right, so again, I don't have anything hooked up. I'm going to switch over the house to um, the inverter now. So I'm going to shut off the main. So now we should have some readings here. And I'm going to go to page three. Okay, yep. Um, one leg's at 0.5 kilowatts, one leg's at 0.2 kilowatts. So not a lot. Um, let me turn on a few things and we'll test it. All right, first thing I'm gonna hit is the uh, hot water heater. And that's gonna kick it up quite a bit. So now we have three on one leg and 2.6 on another leg. All right, uh, let's turn off that hot water heater and I'm gonna turn on the dryer. I think we're gonna get a lot closer to what our, our max is with that uh, standby. So yeah. It's kind of mild today, so none of my HVAC is kicking in. Um, so I got 3.3 and 3.4. Um, I would say this one can start my uh, downstairs HVAC, but not my upstairs. I'm sorry, my upstairs, but not my downstairs. And same thing with this uh, low frequency one, but this is only rated at 6K. The, uh, the low frequency one does a better job of uh, with the HVAC units. So now, so we're at 3.3 per leg. Uh, let me turn on a stove burner and uh, we'll get a little bit closer. All right, so now we're at 4.6 per. Let me zoom back in here. Okay, we're at 4.6 per. Let me turn off, uh, I'm gonna turn off the dryer. All right, so now we're back down. I'm going to try hitting the HVAC again. Okay. All right. Well, looks like uh, I'm not, I want to get an inductive load with the uh, AC, but um, looks like it's not kicking in today. Um, what I'll do is, I guess the dryer is an inductive load somewhat. Um, I'll do that and I'll, I'll run the washing machine. Let me zoom back in. I'm trying to get this thing. Okay. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is Turn on the dryer. I'm also going to turn on the washing machine. So let's see how that does. 
All right. Just use the uh, spin cycle. So I seen the lights flicker a little bit on that one. So we got the washing machine, the dryer, and all the little lights throughout the house. Uh, let's go back here. So now we're at 3.4 and 4. Um, let me turn on one burner because the washing machine only uses one leg where the dryer uses two legs. Uh, let's see what I can do. So I'm going to try the small burner. All right. So a small burner is on. Should be pretty close to maxing it out. All right. Uh, okay. So 4.7. Four and 4.7. All right. Uh, let me try the big, big burner. All right. Now it should be pretty close. All right. Now we're getting an alarm. Okay. Perfect. So 5.3. And 4.6. It's unbalanced because, like I said, the washing machine is using one. So, uh, pretty good. Um, I'm going to shut her down there. So, yeah, that one leg was able to hold five for a good long time. I had a mix of inductive and resistive loads. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Again, Sun Gold Power 10K. Uh, if you want me to test anything else, uh, or have any other questions about the unit, um, like, share, and subscribe. All right, so a little alibi here. Um, the HVAC kicked in now, so I'm able to uh, run the HVAC, HVAC, and I'll zoom in here. Um, yep, HVAC, and I'm running the hot water heater, so 3.6 kilowatts per leg, 3.9. Oh, that's kilovolt amps. Let me go the other way. So yeah, um, doing pretty good. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is shut off my solar. That way you can see what the power is going through the actual shunt. The shunt is the difference between what's coming in and what's coming out. So as you can see, I am at four kilowatts each leg going out because I got um, now I'm going to shut off the AC, um, but again, since the shunt shows the difference, that's only going to show three kilowatts. All right, and you're going to see what happens when I turn off the solar, how much that goes up. Um, all right, that number should be a lot higher now. Hundred and fifty amps. Okay, and again, nothing changed on the input. Um, still four kilowatts each leg or so. I'm going to hit the small burner and see how high that number will go. All right. All right. Never mind. Let's put the uh, large burner on. Okay, large burner. <laughs> Okay, now we should be close to five shit. <laughs> it cut off. All right, so I lost some footage, but when the uh, unit shut off, um, it wasn't because it was overloaded. It was because this uh, 250 amp fuse uh, blew. So looking at the video, I only seen it go up to like 210 or so, um, at least on the, uh, on the gauge there. It might have hit a fridge compressor, some kicked in where it didn't register. It was too fast, like a split second, and then it blew this. Um, I don't know if I want to go any higher. I'm using 2 I cable, but um, yeah, pretty impressive that I was able to blow that 250 amp fuse. All right. Uh, again, if you have any questions, um, anything else you want me to test on it, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and thanks for watching.